Hello, people of the interwebs. Welcome back to another unboxing. I'm very excited to do this one because I just started collecting this series and I'm pretty in love with them. Um, if you guys have seen my previous videos, I call these the Big Mouths. That's just what I call them. They are by a company called Moopa Toys. Um, that's what they go out by on Instagram. The title for them here is Moopa Mochi. And there's a couple other series that's under the same title. This is all food themed. They had a series that was fruit themed, which is when I started collecting them because they had cherries. So I had to have them. Um, there's another series that's not food related, which I didn't really collect because I love mostly food related stuff. So anyway, when I saw this, I had to have it because food stuff and just looks so super cute. So these are the different variations along with a chaser that you can get. This is the side of the box. It's pretty cute. I might try to cut it out and keep it. Um, let's see. Yeah, nothing new or interesting here. I'm going to go ahead and slice this open so that I can cut it. Um, and then we'll sort of jump into this series and see what they all look like. I'm pretty excited because just from the pictures that I've seen online, they look pretty cute and they're fairly substantial. So we'll see if they're detailed as well. But... Um, let me get this case open and we will take a look. So this is what the individual boxes look like. Super cute. Let me get these out of the way so that they don't disturb your view. So this is what the box looks like. The title is in shine. Okay, that's really cute. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this or if the camera is going to pick it up. But first of all, the title's gold foiled of the name of the series. Um, but that's really cute. But what you also notice like right there, by the way, my nails are atrocious. Nobody judge me. I just haven't had time to do them. But what you notice here and right there when I shine it and right there is some shiny spots. And I think what it's meant to be is like food splashing or something. So you can see like right there, right there, and then, yeah, all over the box, there's bits that are shiny, like it's supposed to be splashed on food, I'm guessing. And this is a really good shot of the entire series. Um, and there's one chase, so theoretically we should get all of these because I got a case. But we will see what all is in there. And this is what they look like. Um... And I don't know the name of this series. It might have to do with like messy food or something. I don't know. Um, oh, dessert and drink. That's all it says. It's right there. So there's that. So let's get started. Um, I'm excited about these. So, you know, sit back, relax, enjoy while I jump into these. Oh, that's interesting. So you open the tab, but then there's also an extra box, uh, tab on top to close it. This is the authentication card. A lot of these seem to come with these now. I haven't seen any duplicates or um, knockoffs of these on AliExpress, so I'm not sure this is necessary, but it's there for anybody who wants to double check it. So what I'm going to... Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so this is neat. The bag feels like it's a thick paper which is different than most of these because they tend to be plastic. And if I remember correctly, the last series that I opened of this was uh, plastic. Oh, that's right. I remember now I did open a series of these that were uh, food themed as well. And they kind of sat with little backpacks. So if you guys have seen that video, this is from the same characters in different series. Anyway, so this is paper, like really thick paper, which is interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Okay, let's see what this first one is. Okay, so this is a roll, nothing else in the bag. Let me, okay. And the cards for these are like this. So it's one of the ones that opens. And I'm sure there's details in here that I can't read. But it tells you on the front which one it is. And it is cake roll. So there is a translation. I don't know if all of them will have translations, but this one's cake roll, which is super cute. So this is what it looks like. Really heavy, hefty, substantial. 
Super cute. It's a cake roll. It's got a little bit of whipped cream, a really shiny strawberry, and then there's the big mouth, as I call it. And then the... E. So the cake roll has a little cake roll that is supposed to go in its mouth, which is so cute. Can you guys see that? And that's kind of the main theme. If you haven't seen this series before, they have big mouths and there's always something that goes in there. So uh, the cherry one that I had had little cherries in there. The food ones that I opened before this, like one of them had popcorn because it was a movie theater theme. One was a jelly theme, so it had jelly in it. So stuff like that. And this one along the same lines, it's a roll cake, very textured on the top, shiny, I guess you could say frosting or something. Uh, and then the roll cake pattern. And there's the mouth. So cute. These are so cute. Look at how adorable that is. So there's that first one. I'm going to keep the cards off to the side. But um, I will hopefully be able to stack them all here so y'all can see them as I open new ones. Okay. So there's next tab. And then see so you open this, but then there's still another tab there. The box is very well made. All right, next one. Again, this is indeed paper and not plastic, which I think the planet appreciates that. This is kind of cool. So you've got like different food milk. Looks like a slice of cake. Um, yeah, just different food type stuff on this. So there we go. I will say though, it's not that much of a, a plastic conservation because the shiny inside is plastic. But anyway, this one is, so I'm going to get, these are just, I don't know what it is. You guys maybe agree or disagree, but there's just something about these giant mouths on this adorable little face that just gets me every time. So there's the character He's in a little donut. How cute is this? And the face is matte, the donut shiny. Like, again, I've said this before in other videos. This is, to me, the difference between, like, an art toy or a designer toy and just something that you pick up just randomly and kind of cheapy. The attention to details. Like, first of all, all the painting is correctly done. Nothing is out of place. And then you've got different textures and kind of finishes where this is shiny, this is matte. This is matte, too, but it's got that bready donutty texture and then this is matte again and just details and really well done so let's see this one is indeed called donut so you can see that right there that's the card and then so I'm guessing whatever they are they're gonna have a mini version to toss in their mouth because donut has a very well made donut to go in its mouth and I'm guessing it's supposed to go like that although I guess you could put it like that too either way although this way it looks like kind of a lifesaver hmm. so there you go and these are very not only are they substantial but they're very bottom heavy so you never have to worry about them toppling over in any way which is really neat even this again details this has a flat bottom so when you put it in the mouth it's not going to roll and get lost Okay, next one. So there's that one. This box is a little bit banged up, but should be okay. Next. Okay, well, the pieces on this one kind of give it away. So let's go ahead and just open this. So there's that. Okay, this one's kind of fun. So... So the little guy is naked. Oh my God, you guys, you guys, look at the butt. Look at the butt. So cute little feet. There's the mouth. And then, so here's how this works. Let me open this up. Cause this really sort of needs to be, this one needs to be assembled. So here I'm assuming, oh, so the bun goes this way. Or is it this way? Yep, it goes this way one fits better so there's that and then you've got 
there's the bottom bun and the lettuce. So you can see they've made indents for them to sit flatly. So there it goes that way, that goes that way. Okay, and then in an ironic fashion, the burger has a baby burger that goes in its mouth. So you can see the teeny tiny well-made burger. This is all in one piece, which I like because sometimes they'll do these in, in small pieces and you can like put, put them together or design them however you want. But I always hate that because then you end up losing the pieces. Whereas this is just one piece and then you can put it in its little burger mouth. And everything does have indents that will properly flatly sit. I just am not taking the proper time to. This is the back because you can see the little, can you see the little cutout for where the butt crack would be? This is too funny. See, it sits on the butt crack. <laughs> That's funny. I love the way the little legs are splayed out. Positions are different. This is that that is different about this series because the other food series that I opened, they did not have that. It was all they were all pretty much in sitting positions and looked about the same. So this is kind of neat. So there's that, and then let me get the card. And sure enough, it just says burger. I love that the cards are translated, and I mean a lot of them are pretty obvious so far. But when they're not, it's really helpful to have the name. Okay, next one. We have, I'm going to try to keep it so there's a surprise until the end. So here we go. And this one is, okay, so it's another roll cake. Okay, you got, you guys. Blushing cheeks and little butt. This is so cute. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. Um, I think it's a croissant because the thing that goes in his mouth looks like just a full croissant. So I'm going to go with that. Let me cut that open and then we'll check the card too. So one piece, the little croissant goes in its mouth. Hang on. Croissant goes in its mouth. The whole bun part is bread textured sure you can see that hope the camera's capturing it again the pink cheeks butt that I'm just so cute got the little hands so it's like the little guy stuck in the croissant bun so there's that one and the card for it says it just says bread I'm gonna call it croissant because that very much looks like a croissant in there anyway so there's that one Next one we have, I love how sturdy these boxes are. I want to ruin the surprise for you guys. So, and for me, I love the surprise factor of one box toys. Here we go. We have, are we ready? Oh, this must be the coffee. Oh, this is so cute. Coffee or hot chocolate, I can't tell. But let me... Okay, so this comes with a few bits and pieces, so let me grab those. So it sits on a plate, which I will now open. Okay, so this is the cup and this is the saucer. Or are there spots? No, I don't see spots specifically for the legs, so it's just the cup sits in the middle. Cup and saucer, and then, oh, it is coffee, and I'll show you guys why. It's not just because of the card, but it's because... There's an adorable little coffee bean that presumably goes in its mouth. Yeah, I like the variation in sitting positions and shapes of these. Because like I said, the last series didn't have any variations. And this little guy kind of looks like the whipped cream, like he's got some chocolate uh, shaved on top. And then there's the coffee in there. There's the saucer that he sits in. And this says coffee. So, how stinking adorable is this guy? Adorable. Okay. Next one we have. Wow, there's a lot of pieces to this one. Okay. So, this is what's in the blind bag. Let me show you guys. So, it's the little guy. He's got a little hot dog, big mouth. 
hot dog. Little butt, but he's standing. So I'm gonna push these back a little bit. I'll take the camera down and show you guys after I'm done opening them, but I wanna be able to stand up some of the ones that stand. So like this guy, even the ones who are not on a flat base and who stand on their two feet are, again, very sturdy, which I absolutely love. And then what comes with him, interestingly enough, is a little hot dog bun. And I guess, does it, is it supposed to fit him? Oh my God, it fits him. Look, there's a divot for his butt cheeks. You guys. Okay, that's attention to detail, but he's also just so stinking cute. The little butt cheeks. And then he goes in there. So then that stands up with him like that. I think. And then he's got a little hot dog in a bun that he... Oh, where'd it go? That stands in his little mouth. And just so cute. Just so cute. Can't even. All right, I'm going to put him there. The way that it stands, the hot dog bun sort of like rests against the head. So let's see. Yep. And the name on the card just says hot dog. So, so cute. Next one. I gotta say, that is very satisfying, that tear. All right, let's see what we get. I will say this is some nice thick paper, so it's not flimsy. All right, this one is, I think this is meant to be a uh, pudding. The little guy's taking a bath in the pudding and the little feetsies are poking out. How stinking cute. Okay, so he's basically this. I don't see any accessories for him. I'll double check the card. But per usual, what he has that goes in his mouth is a little shiny pudding. So he's the pudding and he has a pudding. Super cute. No butt cheeks on this guy. And the card says... Yeah, he's just by himself and he just says pudding. Because I was wondering if maybe there was like a hat or something, but no, just by himself. Super cute. Next one. Right. It's kind of big. There we go. We have, <laughs> it kind of looks like a giant caterpillar, but I think it's meant to be an eclair. I'm not sure. Eclair or donut. So this part's got sprinkles on it. It's shiny. This one's got, this part's got bread texture. And then there's his big mouth face. No butt cheeks here. He's got, oh, you know what? He might be a waffle cone ice cream because waffle cone ice cream. That goes in his mouth of course so like that and then the card says cream horn okay don't know what that is but it's stinking adorable so now let's let's take a tally because we've got four left to open we've got the hot dog we've got the donut and the bread we don't have the waffle or the pancake. We have the cream horn. We have the pudding, the coffee, the burger, missing the pretzel. We do have the cake roll. So we're missing these two and this one, and then maybe this one, depending on if I get the chase, which I probably won't, but these are still awesome anyway. Next one. This box is a little beat up. Okay. I'm loving these guys. Okay. This is. Take your guesses. Yeesh. Okay. Who is this? Oh my god, this is the chase. I got a chase. Oh my god, it's a chase. Oh my god, oh my god. Because, hello? With the rolling pin. 
Oh, this is so cute. Okay, hang on. Let me get... Oh, my God. So, I think it's meant to be a bread chef because I'll show you in a second. Hang on. I got to open this. So, it's got a little, a little wheat thing that's supposed to go in his mouth. And what's really neat about this one is, again, the multiple textures, right? So, this is pearlescent white, the chef hat. This is shimmery metallic gold. And then this is very wood grain textured and colored. And then you've got, <laughs> and the butt. I'm never going to get over the butt cheeks. You guys are so cute. And it looks like this is trying to roll him over. Okay, this just, okay, okay. So yeah, this, this says Baker. And this is the chase. I kind of can't believe it. That, oh, I'm a little blown away. I got a chase. Yay. So exciting. So now it's going to be interesting to see which one I don't get because of the chase, which I totally don't mind. All right. This next one is... Take your guesses, ladies and gents. What do we have? What do we have? Come on. This is the pancake. You've got the shiny butter, the shiny syrup, and then... The matte pancake and his little oh my god these are just so cute i don't know what it is about these faces and the nose and the oh i love them so much um and it comes with a pancake to sit on the bottom of so let me open that and again really well done because there's an indent so he's not gonna roll once you put him in the right place oh other way he's not gonna roll see perfect indent for him to sit so cute. Oh, I need to, he's probably got a little pancake. Yep. He's got a little stack of pancakes that go in his mouth. So this is what it looks like. Shiny top, matte bottom. And goes right there. And he goes on, just, just a lot of pancakes. Under a pancake, over a pancake, pancake in the mouth. Pancake. Two more, you guys, two more. So what's left is we can get a waffle or a pretzel or um, I think that's it. Or am I missing one that I'm not realizing yet? Probably. Anyway, let's open this. Next to last one. And this one is all right. I think this one is bread, maybe toast. Wow. And we'll say these are all very well individually packed. Okay. So I oh, this is the one on the cover, you guys. Oh my God, you guys, so excited. Okay, so that's the cover. Looks like he's popping out of a toaster. Ah, it's so cute, you guys. I'm doing it backwards. Okay, head goes up here. Yep. And then he's got a mini version of himself that goes in his mouth, which I will show you momentarily. Little toast with egg that goes in his mouth. And he lays on the toast and toast and I'm in love. Okay. Just, yep. Just stay. And it looks like he's got a little blankie that he's covering himself with. Okay. I'm done. Just I, words. What are they? So, so cute. So cute. Oh, I see. So this was another one that isn't along here. Okay. So the only two that I could possibly get now would be the pretzel or the waffle. And of the two, frankly, I'd rather have the waffle but whichever is fine. Okay, last one. This video has gone on too long, but I love these so much. Okay, here we go. Is it a waffle or a pretzel? Let's see. It is the waffle. Yay! So it's got butter or whipped cream on his little head. He's kind of sitting through the waffle. He's got his open mouth. And then to go in his mouth, there's 
what looks like, and I'll show you guys in a second. Looks like a, a waffle. I was going to say stack, but it's not a stack. So it's a, it's a waffle with what I think is ice cream on it. And that would go in his big mouth. And here's the rest of him. I apologize if I didn't show the backs correctly of any of these. I'm just too excited and I just wanted to get through all of them to see what I got. So, and here's the waffle. So the only one that we didn't get was the pretzel. And I'm honestly not that mad about it. The The hair pretzel situation looks a little crazy. But I'm more than thrilled to get the, the Chase Chef with the rolling pin that's mowing him down. So I'm going to take you guys down. Give me a second here. So much trash much trash much opening okay i'm gonna take you guys down so you can see it the entire mostly collection and then we'll be done so here's what they all look like the hot dog kind of the bun looks like hair which is super cute you've got the pudding the roll and i love how their eyes are different like this one here has kind of Squinty eyes, regular eyes, closed eyes. So there's that. There's the bread roll and the toast. And then the coffee and the chef. So there we go, you guys. This is the entire series minus one, but there is a chase. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed opening these with me because I really, really love this series. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.